first word is Sar. That means the one in charge. He's the Lord. He's the chief. He's the general. The prince. Peace. Peace is shalom. We've heard shalom before. The rest, tranquility, is a wholeness, completeness. So he is Asar Shalom. Asar Shalom. Somebody say that with me. Sar Shalom. Say that. Asar Shalom. He is our Sar Shalom. He is our Prince of Peace, Asar Shalom. So what happens is our Prince of Peace, we're standing under Asar Shalom, which is our Prince of Peace. And everything around us is chaotic. But as long as we're standing under our Prince of Peace, everything is good. But what happens is we get around Christmas and we get ourselves in financial debt and we, we go crazy buying presents for everybody, but the Prince of Peace is staying here, but all of a sudden, because we're in debt, we are outside of the Prince of Peace. Amen. We're outside of the Sar Shalom. The Sar Shalom is staying there. So we go back. We stand under the Prince of Peace. We get under the Sar Shalom. The Sar Shalom has not moved. We don't get along with people. We don't get along with our husband or wife, our daughters, our, our family or whatever. And tension is going crazy. The Shah Shalom, if we stand under the Shah Shalom, we have peace. Amen. We have peace. But what we do is that we try to take the moment and we try to try to take control of the situation and we get all angry about the situation by this people, this person, and that person. So in essence, we are outside of the Shah Shalom. Amen. The Sar Shalom says to be healthy, you do these things. You, you exercise, you eat the right food, you do all these things. You listen to what the doctor says, the doctor gives you a medicine. You take the doctor's medicine and you keep praying, you keep believing on God. And the Sar Shalom is staying right there, the Prince of Peace. And it's peace within your heart. He brings peace within your heart. Because you know if I do what the doctor says and I believe what God says, he is the healer. For his, by his stripes, I am healed. But what happens is we step out of the Sar Shalom and we start doing all of We don't exercise. We don't eat the right food. We, just, we don't take the medicine. We get all holy in now and say, but well, the Lord is going to heal me. And we throw the medicine away and we walk around and we do whatever we want to do. We are outside of the Sar Shalom. So now we come back unto the Prince of Peace. We sit here. We wait. We, everything is going peaceful. Our money, our everything, we're doing what the doctor says. We have nothing. Our kids are good. Our, everything is going with their job, whatever. And again, God tells us to do something. We get all peaceful. We get unpeaceful about it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And so what happens is, this is what happens. We stay here, and the Prince of Peace moves. <laughs> Amen. The Prince of Peace moves because he wants to give you all craziness in, in, in you because he told you to do something. He told you to witness to somebody and, and you won't do it. So what happens is God sometimes has to stir you up and bring you out of peace in order for you to get back under peace. Amen. So the Star Shalom is there. The Prince of Peace is there. He's waiting. He wants us to do these things. And so sometimes the Shah Shalom has to leave in order for us to get where God wants us to be. Amen. 